All right, welcome everyone. Uh, we are the senior design group in charge of the Baja four wheel drive. We are a first semester group. My name is Skylar Hatch, Weston Murphy, Jonathan Mark, and Garrett Mula. Our goal is to research, design, test, and build a four wheel drive system for a Baja vehicle capable of sending power to all four wheels. So the Kind of one of the points of the Baja cars is supposed to keep up with the uh, like ATV market in today, like right now. And as most ATV manufacturers like Polaris, k and Yamaha, they're all moving over to a four-wheel drive. Like 90% of their four-wheelers are in four-wheel drive, like the Yamaha Grizzly right here. So here are our scoring metrics. So right here we have what we'll be scored at competition, such as hill climb, you know, suspension endurance. And over there we have our the things that we think are important, such as traction, weight, and cost. So to build off of that scoring here, we uh, outlined uh, four different drivetrain configurations and what we feel would be the maximum possible points for each uh, drivetrain configuration in that specific competition. And so the locked on lock four-wheel driver, we have a locked rear spool and then a differential on the front side that can be locked and unlocked or disengaged completely. It ended up with the most total points, the six, a maximum of 650 out of the 700. To give you a bit of perspective, the last time we had the competition, which was the first time in a long time, uh, we only got 70 points total in all these because of the, we performed so poorly in endurance where we only made it like one loop around because of the machine case was so uh, flimsy, I guess. And so this is a lot better. Yeah, and so the current setup we have now is a two-wheel drive setup. It's a fixed gear ratio, so it's running from the engine to a CVT down to a set gear ratio. The only way to change that is pull a sprocket off of the rear end and put a different tooth sprocket on it. But you have to pull into the pits. It takes a long time to change that gear ratio. And what we want to do is obviously put power to all four wheels, but to also possibly have the opportunity to change that gear ratio while you're on the track. And you'll hear about that in this next slide. So some of our goals for this was we need to design a fully functioning four-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive system. Uh, we're also looking into design, or de we did design our custom transfer case. And then also we need to design a frame around that to hold everything. <coughs> some of our stretch goals were to incorporate a high and low gear range inside of that transfer case using like a plant area as shown there. And then also with that, we need to make a lockable front differential. And then with that front, it would be also nice if we get to engage and disengage it while driving. So here's the significance of the project. We obviously comply with the 2022 Baja rule, which is making us go to four-wheel drive. We're going to increase our traction, increase our stability, increase the pulling ability. We're going to decrease the turning radius to build the components that we put up there. But we'll also increase the ability to climb over obstacles. So why do we need four engineers on this project for so long? Well, this, this drivetrain itself is pretty tricky. Yeah, everything to work together seamlessly and fluidly. But on top of that, we have to design the frame, and we do have that new frame completely designed right now. The suspension will be a lot trickier, especially up front when you have to work around. CV axles will restrict movement, um, and also the steering as well will be a lot trickier to have so many components to work around. Yeah, and so you, as you can see here, we start making decision matrices for our, obviously, decisions. And this is this one's for the primary side power transfer, basically choosing what we want the possibility of that high-low, what we want that to be consisting from. We chose either belt drive, planetary, gear mesh, or chain drive. As you can see, the planetary took the cake 14 points, as you might say. Next one here is the gear reduction, which is the secondary gear reduction. That happens after the planetary or after another set of uh, initial gear reduction. You can belt drive, gear mesh, or chain drive. You can see the chain drive took the cake there. And then you have the transfer case housing, which is enclosed chain, open chain, or gear mesh, which would also be enclosed too. The difference between open and enclosed is oil bath or air cooled. And as you can see, the open chain air cooled is the one that took that decision. So with the kind of the direction of the plan we're looking to go, uh, we need to finish the design and then actually start building the drive system. And then also uh, purchase the Grizzly front differential and we already have the rear spool now. And then we're also looking into source it, or sourcing out materials for the transfer case. We're looking into like raw aluminum right now and then machine it out here at SDSU. And then also we need to design our own, uh, design and build our own drive shafts shown here. 
here's our Gantt chart. And on the next slide, we have our graphical representation. The blue is obviously what, the dark blue is what we've completed, and the white blue is what we have to complete. And here's our budget. So we only budgeted $400 for aluminum last time. Well, we found out aluminum is pretty expensive, so we've increased that to 1000 Now we're only left with 341 extra dollars for unforeseen costs. Um, this right here is where we are right now with all our design. Um, this is the frame that we have uh, pretty much locked in as to what we want which with, with improvements over the design from last year, such as allowing more room for those CV access to travel like we were talking about. This is an, an example of what our transfer case uh, may end up looking like. Um, the planet here is embedded in here, and then we would have the chain uh, running down to another sprocket down here. The drive shaft running to the front differential, a drive shaft running to the rear spool here. So this kind of can let you visualize how the things are positioned in the frame. And this is just a side view. You can see we'll probably have to do a little bit of angling when using some view joints and stuff. It'll be a little bit tricky everything to work together. The goal is to have everything as low as possible so you won't tip over as, as easy to keep your center of gravity low. Yeah, and here is, obviously, as Garrett mentioned, the mock of the transfer case currently that will obviously change depending on the way we go with open or close. And this is the planetary setup as seen on the table there. It gives us the gear ratio we would like and the fluctua flu fluctuation ability, excuse me, between high, low, and actually neutral too. So it performs above what we were hoping.